Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So previously I recorded a video on how to install Copilot for Dynamics 365 sales. Well, there have been a couple of changes to the steps that you need to do in order to get sales copilot inside of Dynamics 365. So that's what this video is about. And I'm also gonna be talking about some of the configurations that we can now do. I'll tell you all about it right after this. When I first got access to the preview for Sales Copilot, I actually created a video where I explained how to install and enable Copilot Sales in Dynamics 365 Sales. And then I also showed you how Copilot Sales works. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'm actually gonna drop it in the description of this video so you can take a look at that. Now, since then, there's been a couple of things that happened. So let's first talk about what happened with Viva Sales because in July it was revealed that Viva Sales was going to undergo a rebranding. So Viva Sales, the name Viva Sales, which is right, Copilot in Outlook and Teams, that name is gone and it's now part of Sales Copilot. So you can see here the Outlook and Teams Copilot functionality is currently GA but the functionality in Dynamics 365 sales is still in preview. Now, having said that, these were not the only changes. There's also been some changes in how you can enable Sales Copilot in Dynamics 365 sales, and that's what this video is gonna be about. If you've seen my previous video, then you notice that there were a couple of things that I had to do, right, in order to get Sales Copilot to work inside of Dynamics 365. Well, that has significantly changed. Microsoft has made this experience a lot easier and a lot better as well. So there's no more going to App Source, downloading solutions, all that stuff. Um, it's actually gonna be, like I said, a lot easier. So let me show you how you can now enable Sales Copilot in Dynamics 365 sales. So as you can see, I'm logged into the sales hub. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change from my sales area to app settings. And a look at that. Here we have the sales copilot preview uh, navigation item below general settings. So as soon as you click on that, you can see here that I can now click on this button that says set up sales copilot. So as soon as I do that, you can see here that this side pane now comes out and this is going to allow me to select where I want sales copilot uh, to be turned on. So let's just go ahead and say we want that in a sales hub and then you have two options, right? You have compose and what that is, that's really allowing us to utilize AI to help compose draft email messages, right? So that's what that is. And then we also have chat. If you've seen my previous video, then you know that we can actually chat with, with Sales Copilot and we can ask questions about opportunities and we can get uh, information about accounts, etc. So this is kind of what that is. So if you only want Compose or you just only want chat, you're just gonna check that box. Once you've done that, you're gonna click here on Confirm and look at that now I have some additional information here. I have my record summary, my record catch up, and then I have compose. Now, what this means, and you can kind of see that as well, is that we can actually, per record type or, or per table, we can select the views that the system is going to use, that Sales Copilot is going to use. And as you can see here, the first seven fields of the selected view will be used to create that summary. So previously, we were not able to choose which of those fields would be used, right, to create that summary. 
but now we can. So you can see here that the default system views are being selected here, but obviously you can also pick a different view or you can create a new view and select that, right? But again, the first seven fields of that view will be used. So if you want to see, right, what are the views, uh, I'm sorry, what are the fields that are used in this view? We have six here, right? So you probably want to make sure that you use seven. Now, this one is also not a lot, but again, this is just the out of the box, all leads view. And the same thing goes for the opportunity, right? You can just create a new view, then pick that view. As you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, eight. Is that correct? Three and seven. We have seven fields here, topic, potential customer, email address, etc. So if you might have custom fields that you want to include, you can do that as well. All right, then obviously when you're done, you need to hit save. And then let's talk about the record catch up. It's going to be very similar. First of all, you need to turn audit on. The reason for that is because the catch up summaries are created from fields that have recently been changed. And of course, the metadata of those field changes are stored in audit history, right? So in order to use those catch up summaries, we're going to have to enable auditing. And then, of course, you need to make sure that your sellers have access to it. Now, then on top of that, also make sure that, you know, the columns that you want to use in right over here uh, in these views also need to be enabled, obviously, for auditing. And you can see here that any catch up related to this view will use the last 10 updates in that audit history. The other difference here is that the first 10 fields of any of those selected views will be used to create that catch up summary. And then lastly, we have compose. There's not a lot that we can do here. Oh, let me just go ahead and I did not save that. Let's just go back, save that. And then let's click on compose and you'll see that there's really nothing that we can do in the compose section. So when I click on that, right, this just tells me that this helps seller write better emails, etc. Now, at any point in time, if you want to change where Copilot is active, you can just click here on manage apps and that brings up that screen here again where I can select the apps where I want to enable sales Copilot for. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching, until next time.